Okay, sin number seven. Sin number seven is reaching for notes rather than letting go and bearing down. Back up a minute here. <clears throat> okay. Have you ever gone to a concert, a rock concert, um, Billy Joel or I don't know, anybody, any, anybody? When the, or just watch American Idol, when the singer is going for a high note, what they usually do is pull down like this. They go down. Uh, I got to be me. Not, not, I've got to be me. No, I've got to be me. They pull it down. It's letting go of everything from the waist up. When you reach, when you reach, when you reach, you're going after it. When you're letting go, you're letting it just slide over your vocal cords and out through the bell of your instrument, your mouth, and into the world. When you reach, you lift your chin. When you lift your chin, you stifle the sound. Watch. Uh, did you hear the change in timber, in texture? Let's do that again. You can hear it, and I can feel it. I can feel it. It's like when you water your flowers. You water your flowers in the garden, and somebody inadvertently comes and steps on the garden hose, and the water stops, or it comes out more slowly and is just kind of trickling onto the flowers. Take your foot off the garden hose, and the full force of the water is there again. So. When you raise your chin, it's like bending the pipe, bending the, 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 the space that that air and sound are traveling through, okay? So you don't want to be reaching for the sound. You want to be pulling it down into your full body so that, you, so that everything that's that's going on from the waist up is free and clear for that sound to travel. You know, there's an old, uh, oh, a really old song called um, The Music Goes Round and Round. It was uh, made popular by Louis Armstrong. Some of our older members will, might remember it. The music goes round and round, oh, 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 oh when it comes out here. Um, and I think it was, originally some kind of an instructional, uh, or maybe it was Spike Jones or some. I don't even remember. Why don't one of you um, clue me in on that? I'm sure some of you might know the history of that song. But basically, uh, it's a song about how music go get goes through an instrument. You blow the air in, and you press the valve down. That's a <laughs> press this little thing down. That's a, a line from the song. And the, and the air and the sound travel through various chambers of the instrument and finally come out the bell. And it's the same with your body. You know, never make a mistake to think that the vocal cords are the instrument. We are more a wind instrument than a string instrument. Although I do say that the vocal cords are the strings of your instrument, but that your body, your entire body, is the instrument. I mean, if you were to take um, the strings off of a guitar and throw them on the floor and try to play them, they would not make any noise. They wouldn't make any sound. They have to be on the guitar in order to make a sound. In, and, and the condition of that guitar, the wood, the size of the hole, the way the strings are, are strung on the instrument, all comes into play when it comes to the quality of the sound. 
it's the same with your body, you know. And, and, and you know, we're going to go into vocal health, taking care of your instrument, uh, how many glasses of water to drink a day, how many to stop drinking. If you're drinking a gallon of water a day, I, I, yeah, that's too much water, personally, I think. But, um, but we do want to, you know, uh, and I'm going to post all kinds of things up here. Um, drug taking, and I'm talking about um, prescription meds and, and OTC um, medications um, that a lot of my students take. Oh, well, I got allergies, I got to take them. Yeah, uh, there are alternatives. Some medications are really, really nasty on your vocal cords. And we're going to get into all that, okay? But these are the seven deadly sins. Reiterating. Number one, listening. Number two, standing straight up, stiff, and tense. Number three, saving your air. Number four, the use of body crutches. Number five, breathing into your belly and not into your throat. Number six, ignorance of sensory awareness and number seven reaching versus letting go and I am going to post on the website the article that I wrote um, on the uh, on on this particular subject okay so um, I'll be seeing you again and I'm going to post these we have uh, we recorded like three of these now and together with the first ones that we have on Seven Deadly Sins. That'll complete our Seven Deadly Sins series. Once again, uh, if any of you need additional help or, or would like to um, sign up for a private session with me, uh, let me know and we'll take care of that. All right? Okay. Thank you. Thanks for being here and I'll see you again soon. Bye.